Hey, W-Y-N-E, I got something from you from Amazon. More tech goodies? Well, why don't you open it up and find out? All right, all right. Amazon, Amazon. See, Amazon, they knew what they were doing with their logo. Everything you get from Amazon is a big smile. All right, my trusty pocket knife. Let's get to looking. So, always put your blade away when you're not using it. Hey, it's already open. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's it. extra hurtful. <laughs> okay. <It's laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. This is the first time I've gotten a package that was already open. All right, so it's a 51 UV LED flashlight. So, is it just a, a UV light or is it just Wait a... Wait a minute, is that it? Is, is that it? No, I'm not... Is oh, it? is that it in here? Um, yes, that is it in this package. Okay, that's extra hurtful. I'm leaving a bad review. Oh, wait, am I missing something? There was, supposed, this... there was supposed to be UV glasses in there too to go with the UV light. Well, let, let's let's open it up. Let's I doubt up. they're in there. <laughs> this person's getting a bad review. 21 Wait, 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 wait. Oh, 21 Gamers! Oh my goodness, look at 21 Gamers. What do these look like? UV sunglasses? Okay, maybe so. I'll, I'll be less angry now. <laughs> are there three batteries in there? <laughs> 21 Gamers, what, what are you trying it to It said, do? it said, I purposely picked this one because it was supposed to be like, a, oh look, it says hello. All right, comes with three batteries, says hello. <laughs> Ooh, heaven. Got a little weight behind it. All right, empty. Tailtronics UV flashlight. I, mm, you know I like this brand. You know I like Tailtronics. Shout out to them. If they ever want to do a sponsor, feel free to you know hit your boy up. Right, because what do you have that's already by Tailtronics? Headphones. Two. I've had two pairs. I've had the wired ones. Those lasted me about two years, and now I have a pair of wireless ones, and they are great. They're also in a previous video, so if you want to check it out, we'll put the link in the description or we'll put it around the corner somewhere here, there, left, right, up and down. <laughs> but 21 Gamers, I got a question. Why did you get this from me? Well... I, un Ooh, I like poppers. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't mind me. Well, while I ordered something else from you from Amazon, FedEx yeah. fulfilled the delivery. So maybe things will start making more sense. Uh, all right, let's see. So, do you know what's already, already in this one, 21 Gamers? Or well, I ordered it? it. So unless it's the wrong thing, like I hey, thought. Hey, you, you thought no sunglasses came. <laughs> well, because with UV lights, I was reading online that you got to uh, protect your eyes. You don't want to look at that directly. Oh, OK. Is it a box within a box? It's a box within a bag that says, if seal is broken, check contents before accepting. Oh, easy bio research bacteria S ward winning experiment. That, that sounds worrying. 21 Gamers, what did you get me? <laughs> Oh my goodness. What are we testing? <laughs> oh my goodness. These are little, not beakers, l the... Little Petri dishes. Oh, oh my goodness. 21 Gamers. <laughs> what are... So... Okay. If you haven't realized yet, this is apparently something 21 Gamers thought up and I did not know about this and I'm worried. So I'll pass it over, pass the mic over to her. But there's one thing I bought for you from the store. Let's see. This I knew about because I, I came home and I saw it on the counter and I was like, what is this? I, at first I thought it was like a little bath for your phone. You know, you ever heard of those, um, what are they again, 21 Gamers, where you sit in the tank and you... Oh, it's a sensory deprivation tank. Yes, and I was like, is this for a phone? I was like, is it going to do anything magical to the phone? Is the it, phone going to transcend and comprehend life? <laughs> well, Skynet! <laughs> well, 
Well, it does look like that. And the fact that there's aromatherapy in here, because mm. it has a little diffuser within the sanitizer. Yes. I could definitely see why you would think. So, but as you read, you see it says phone and accessories. Um, phone sanit- spa. It says that? Where does it say that? <laughs> On the top. It would help if you didn't read it upside down. Phone spa. Okay. Phone spa. Phone and accessories, sanitizer, kills 99.9% of germs see back for more information <laughs> i think 21 gamers is trying to say something that I, I feel like she must look at my phone and see this Jared. just i don't know i don't see this when i see my phone you want to have my phone let me let me take a good look at it i feel like you smudged it on purpose there's, there's some <laughs> smudge marks on there you know that's that's not that's not from me you know, it's a, it's, it's a pretty clean phone, right? 7 Plus. You know, not the newest phone, but still works, still gets the job done. That's the most important thing. So, all right. So let's see what this does. Effectively, well, besides effectively killing 99.9% common pathogenic bacteria and airborne microorganisms, extra large sanitizing bed holds more than just the smartphone. See now my, my quick, well, it says more than just a smartphone, but I got the Plus, so the Plus is just a little bit bigger, but we'll see. You know, from what I see on here, it only shows keys, AirPods, cables, which you could just, I don't know, why am I putting my cables in here to be sanitized, but okay, cool. So, and then that last thing, I'm not even sure what that is. So, it says it cleans it in only 10 minutes. For me, that's still pretty long. Ten minutes is not a short time to, you know, in this day and age to be without your phone. Oh. You, know, you can follow me on Twitter at W-Y-N-E Tech Bytes, you know, or Instagram. You know, I'll be on every ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, for you, especially since you take your phone with you to the bathroom, we want to make sure it's clean, nice and good. That, that happened once in my lifetime. We have to move past it. I didn't even say how you dropped it in the toilet. I just said you bring I, it with you. You into were the alluding to that, and I did comment about it on Twitter. Maybe that's why you saw it. <laughs> well, but especially now, everybody's worried about germs, yeah. viruses, and those kinds of things. Even yes. more so, because let's face it, you put this up to your face, the phone, not yes. the sanitizer. <laughs> well, here's the thing with me. I'm more of a headphone person, so... Yeah, we're going to sanitize those too. Yes, those will probably be more that need to be sanitized, you know, by Tailtronics. Again, Tailtronics, feel free, find me. We can do business. So, um, the thing is, what I'm wondering though, when I, was, when I did read about this, it, the essential oil, it isn't going to seep into the phone or anything, or it's not going to, like, get onto the phone and just, like... Well, yeah. I suppose we could test this out with keys first. Oh, That's okay. why it's fairly safe. And then feel, feel it and everything. Right. You ever heard of phone soap? No. All right, so phone soap's like that without the aroma therapy, but now, so that was the novelty in the market, and I saw on QVC, and I think it was maybe on Shark Tank beforehand, but now there's more of these other brands coming out that do yeah. the same thing for half the price. Yes. So this actually was even less than half the price because phone soap, I've seen it like for ninety nine dollars. This was thirty. Is it actual soap or no, it is it just like, like a? Because I've seen like those videos where people are like, oh, you could put like the slime. Oh. Like people like using like different like something that looks like a slime and it's like they like patting it on the phone. Oh, on the keyboard, yeah, yeah. the the really sticky slime to pick up all that loose gunk. Oh, okay, okay, so okay, so maybe I was wrong about that. Okay, but you know what? These things, you know, say they're you know, killing most of these germs and these bacteria, right? Yes. So let's go back to the science kit and the UV light. I figured, well, how can you test to see the germs? The germs are n- naked, to, mm-hmm. are invisible to the naked eye. Yes. But the UV light, so UV lights, but while I was reading online, it's more effective if it's an actual liquid substance or like pet urine and that. So unless you're peeing on your phone, mm. And I know you don't Well, my, my friend does have a newborn. We could go see if, if, <laughs> if he let her play with it and if it happened to slip and she crawled over it with a full diaper. Well, there's a lot of videos online about using UV lights to actually, 
you know, using them in hotel rooms to see how dirty they are. Yes. Now, what most I've seen is that it's more effective if it's actual like a liquid stain. There's a model from where I come from. What you don't know won't hurt you. <laughs> well, that's why I got the UV light. This way we could put it to the test to see what we see under the black light. Yes. But before we before we sanitize it. Oh, okay. So that'd be one experiment to see what we can see. Yes. And then if that didn't work, that's where this these petri dishes come into play and the cotton swabs. So we're going to swab the foam with those sterilized cotton swabs and those those 10 petri dishes already come prepared with a substance like I think it's pronounced agar, A G A R. So what we're going to do is we're going to swab your phone. Yes. Put it in the Petri dish. I, I like how we say my phone and not your phone. <laughs> not, well, like right. There's not like two phones in the in, the, in, the, in here. <laughs> so, whoops. Ooh, poppers. Who, come on, you, you cannot tell me I'm the only person that enjoys these. Comment below if you like to pop these. Bubble wrap, pop it like it's hot? Yes. Okay, so those dishes are already come prepared with the agar. So you take the cotton swab, if it has any bacteria or anything on mm -hmm. it, you leave it on the dish, and then you're sp and then if something grows like three to seven days, if I remember correctly, yes, then that will tell you if there was something on there. If nothing grows, then there wasn't any bacteria or germs to grow. I'm a slight germaphobe, so I don't know how this came to be. She, <laughs> Apparently, this is exactly why she did not tell me this, because growing something in the house and it ain't a plant. Well, you, you don't even <laughs> like my plants, because you said they attract ants. They, they attract a lot of things. <laughs> I think Mother Nature is trying to creep into the house. So we so. have ten. So we could do it before and after. So one before we sanitize the phone and one after. Yes. So theoretically, the one after should have very little or none. Oh, we're going to put labels. <laughs> We're going to put labels so we can test your phone, my phone, before and after. We could pick some other device or something that we think is going to have lots of germs. So like maybe... A maybe, mouse. And, then, right. and plus there'll be a review to see how does the phone spa work. Tell us what you think. Full video should come out in about a week because since we gotta let, give some time for this bacteria to grow. Yes. Bacteria. Growing. Yay! I'm so excited. Wee! <laughs> All right, everyone. Y'all have a great day.